Ooh, that's brisk. I think I may have underestimated the cold. <laughs> um, have you got everything in the car? No, there's also a bunch of this. I have this. There is a dry storage at the back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that, and it's quite big inside, so if you can fit stuff in there. Surf us down, we'll go to the little beach on the way out. Just don't slip on the sandy bit. <laughs> you know what's... We got one thing in the car. Oh, cool, cool. I don't think I locked it anyway. If you wanted to use that and dry it off and rinse it, you could use that if yeah. you if that's of interest to you. Actually, I know you wanted a rag. Jeez, it looks good too. <laughs> that's it, you made some ground there. Cool. So yeah, if there was a surf, we'd be launching from the beach over there. <laughs> but today, because it's so chill. We'll just launch straight from here and it uh, should be nice and easy through the rock wall because the last thing you want is rocks and surf. <laughs> I've definitely made that mistake. I can put the hat on now as well. I've definitely figured that out the hard way. Let's look at the keys out of my pockets. You're looking good. Oof. When we go through here, we'll just slowly veer to the left. But uh, if you see a wave coming, just stay straight onto it. And these things, and these things will punch through just about anything. But this shouldn't be an issue today because there won't really be much. Nice. Nice to go out the uh, rock wall. And we're just getting a sunset, or sunrise, sorry. That's rising, isn't it? It's the opposite of the setting. All right. Well, let's head over. We'll head over to this uh, section over here where there's zero chance of any waves. <laughs> It's nice and safe to set up and we'll get some rods out and we are on a mission to get maybe the first snapper of the season well actually it's not the first snapper of the season because at that comp we got a few but first local snapper of the season the first official what i call the official uh start to the snapper season for me and then while we're doing that we will also be focusing on uh what are we going to be focusing on? The hopeful, fingers crossed, lucky, big, long tailed tuna. There's a whale breaching just out there. So we come over this way, because that, that whole section there, normally the surf breaks all the way across here. Yeah. So um, there's a bommy there, the wind will slowly push it out that way probably, but yeah, all the whales will be moving up the coast now. So they're, they'll shoot in full force today. Did you see that one breach yeah. then? So hopefully we might get some good whale action. Yeah, yeah. that'll be cool. But um, yeah, we can set up here. Can you, uh, yep. 
this mount started wobbling. Drooping down. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll come and tighten it up. Get this open and get some rods out. Let's try and get into the bait zone pretty quick. It's a very nice day out on the water though. Look at this beautiful sunrise starting to sneak its way over. But we will tether these on and get out there. Snap a rod, pulling the old girl out of retirement. The Veritas rod. I used to always use this setup. It's a 4,000 reel, 4,500 reel. And then we'll put a uh, plastic on here. But what we might do first is concentrate on getting some bait. Because uh, the earlier we fish for bait, the better. The more chance we've got. So we'll quickly get this set up. Oh, this is... This is one of my most hated things, <laughs> is just opening that clasp off there to get this off. In cold weather, <laughs> it kills the fingers. All right. Clip this guy on, get to the bait grounds. Let's open the bait hatch, act confident. Pull the plugs in here so it fills up. And we are away. Here we go. All right, and there's actually some stuff underneath us now. So why don't we just have a real quick drop on that? You never know. That could produce straight off the bat. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. Now we are on to something. Please don't be pomfret, please don't be pomfret. Ah, double pomfret. <laughs> so they're not what we want. <laughs> but that's all right. That's all right. Let's not get freaked out about that too quick. Oh, there's definitely a big school of bait under me now. Look at that. Please, no pomfret. Okay, we've got something else here. Ooh. It's definitely putting a bit more of a... Oh, I've got something a bit more uh, hefty now. Oh. What have we got here? Is it just a whole school? Oh, no, 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 they're not proper. Okay, so they're yakkers. But uh, I'm going to lose half of these because they're going all over the shop. But bait is not going to be a problem. Look at the sound it just lit up. Oh. Okay, we've got a sweep as well. Oh, and a slimy. Okay, so this guy here, this is the, here's the prime bait. This guy's the bait you want. That there, slimy mackerel. And this guy is a sweep. He brings back lots of childhood memories of catch. Oh, no, 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 no. That's no good. Let's get him off and detangle quickly. Lots of childhood memories catching these little guys. These are one of the first fish I'd catch when I was a kid. They do get a fair bit bigger, but let's uh, untangle this. Oh, look, there's yeah, there's so much bait. Sometimes this place can actually be a little bit touchy with the bait, so it's nice to see that we're uh, we're not struggling at all here. Okay, we got we got one. Woo! Oh, we got a. We don't want him. That's a pike. Pike actually could pretty good. Ah, oh, yeah. During mackerel season, this is uh, not such a bad bait, but this time of year, I think we can do a little bit better. Stinky as well. Ooh, they do stink. Actually, not too bad at eats as well in some ways. But um, yeah, it's so good to get Taco back down this way. See if we can put him on a local fish. And uh, yeah, he obviously does a bit of kayak fishing back in his local back home. So I thought, why not get him out on the kayak and do the OG stuff? Okay. 
these baits are very very frisky these guys are definitely tangling me up okay we've got a slimy yucca but the slimy goes in first because he's the best one and the yucca's just jumped up for me which makes it nice and easy yeah i better go back and check that tucky is all good because we've just left him to his own devices but i think he's filming <laughs> oh man there's definitely some good baits Because uh, every now and then one still may rear up on you uh, in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I tell you what, the baits are plentiful today. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Have you jigged a, a few? I got a few, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Ah, uh, pike. I don't want you. Oh, uh, and I think that pike just took my sinker off as well. So that's the end of my bait catching. Yeah, so he's just taking my sinker off. Almost tempted to keep you. If that's the last bait I'll catch. Yeah, right. Yeah, oh, well, let's get a, we can put a bait out right now. Might as well get those slimies out there. And uh, as we move out, oh, this is going to be tricky to find the right one. Oh, no. oh we got him. <laughs> Too easy. So we'll get this guy out. We've still got wire on because there is a chance of a mackerel. You never know. Even if it's just schoolies smaller of them but you know there's still a chance I saw some guys getting Spanish just the other week so there's ever there's always a chance so we'll rock the uh, we will rock the um, slimy on the wire rig I think Taku's just got a circle hook so he's relying on the tuna the tuna bite <laughs> so let's go down a bit Not too far We've still got a decent amount of bait in there, so we should be good. Even though we've lost our sinker, we can re-rig, but I don't think I'll bother with the live bait. I think we'll just go straight out and try and get some snapper and tuna. Put a plastic on. I think we're going to need... Oh, no, it is open. It's going to go my favourite, which is the crazy legs. Pink shine crazy legs. Always good to start off with what you know. We know we can catch fish on these, so... We'll go there first and then we've got a few other things to try if we really get excited about it all. So, yep. Alright. Let's catch some fish. How many baits you got? Uh, I just got four. Four? Okay. I think the bait's so plentiful, I don't think it'll be hard to catch more if we need. Oh, yeah. Do you want to have one more, George? Do you want to just get one or two more? Or? Yeah. Because yeah. there's, there's baits stacked everywhere. And then we can go out and we'll see if we can see some whales and big snapper. Yeah. Okay, we just got caught on each other there. <laughs> but um, but Taku just said that my bait has been sliced up already. Let's have a quick look. Oh wow, yeah, no, he has really been sliced up. Okay, well he's still going along at the moment. We'll just put him back down. He's not loving it at the moment though, unfortunately. I'm sorry buddy. Hopefully we can get a clean mackerel bite on him next. Look at those slices. This guy's, um, unfortunately, he's down and out for the count. But that, see the way that gill flap's ripped off? I would say that's almost squid. I don't think I bought a squid jig. Tucker might have one. I saw he had his little bag of tricks. Well, if we want, we could actually focus on that. I'm going to keep him up there because he's still a good bait and we'll put another one on if the squid are just demolishing them though I'll put uh, I won't put the slime in now let me save him for out in the deeper stuff You got something that I'm going to put money on it being a rock cod, yep. <laughs> yeah, the old poor man's lobster. So, that seems about right to start my fishing trip. <laughs> These guys are uh, 
always around. <laughs> but, you know, it's alright, it means we're dropping on something. So about here is where they will all start. We'll hopefully focus on some snapper from here on. Once we get a little deeper. Okay, well we've definitely got a hit on something. We can get that soft plastic in. I think that's a... Oi. Ooh, that's a proper, that is a proper run. <laughs> okay. No signs of shell slowing down there. That was a proper fast run. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what this is. Oh, risk a little bit more drag. What we do need to do is get that other uh, We need to get that other soft plastic rod in, but I'm moving at this speed. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. We'll just let him pull me around for a sec while I get this in. We got our soft plastic in. What is this going to be? Big run at the beginning. Now we can concentrate on just working him in. There's no need to go too hard at this stage because the uh, kike will do a lot of the hard work and move me closer to him. Just let him pull the kike around for a sec while I uh, sort my cameras and bits and pieces out <laughs> and make some line back on him. So if he does do another big run, we're looking a bit better. What is this going to be? Okay, here come the head shakes. Hopefully we've got a big long tail here, or <laughs> you never know what it could be really. Run like that, could be a lot of things. He's pulling me along at about 4.5 kilometers an hour, 4.7, yeah. <laughs> we're definitely making a lot of ground on him now. He's coming up to the surface very fast, which starts to make me think it's a tuna. Not even if I'm just going to wind myself in here. He's almost all big head shakes. He's going to go for another big run, I'm assuming, soon. Come on. Just keep the pressure on there. While I get this other camera sorted. <laughs> Jeez, he's all over the place. Lots of big head shakes. Could be a wahoo. That run, maybe not quite as big a run, but Jeez, he's, he's all over the shop. Huge head shakes. Just shaking their rod around like crazy.
Oh, he's pulling me around like this. I'm starting to think maybe it could be a shark or a big tuna could definitely behave like this, but I don't know if I'd call it circle work yet. Almost my turn. Oh, almost my turn to work you back up. Let's see if we get some bouncy tuna rod. Okay, the rod's starting to bounce a bit now, so I won't go too hard then. If we're getting bouncy tuna rod, then we, it's worth persevering and just making sure we get him in. If it's shark, we can go harder and just get over it. But, um, it's definitely a bouncy rod now. And if he settles into circle work, then we, I'd say we've got a long tail. I'm definitely not making any ground on him now though, that's for sure. <laughs> Here we go. Give me a little line back. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> what do we got? Coming up to the surface again, though. Well, it's definitely giving the old, uh, going the old fish guns a bit of a workout again. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, I saw a fleck of silver there, which would mean it's not a shark. Maybe we've got tuna after all. It's a lot. Oh. He's going back that way now. Hope it's not a Mac tuna. Surely no Mac tuna is this powerful. It'd be one hell of a Mac tuna if it is. Hopefully we've got a long tail. Going backwards at three and a half k's. He's <laughs> put up a good fight, whatever he is. And I'm just winding him straight back in again, and then we'll dive down again. <laughs> what have we got? Uh, what is it? I think it's a long tail and a decent sized one. I think so, the way he did it past then. So let's take this seriously. Oh, get this open. And we'll get the gaff out. Get that ready. He looks like he's burned a lot of his energy off. And I'm gonna say that is definitely a long tail now. I'll try and get a good shot of him on. One more pass around. Just let him burn out a little more energy there. Just need him to pass a little closer in the right angle now because he's kind of a uh, He's just out of reach for a second. No, 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 don't get 
isn't too far away again. <laughs> the circle or the kayak around in circles. <laughs> Putting up a bit of a battle. <laughs> yeah. No, it's definitely a long tail I'd say. Yeah, <laughs> she's just doing that circle work. He's coming in close now. They just don't give up. <laughs> no, don't make ground back on me. Making ground back. Slightly heavier rod, it might have been a good idea for this guy. We'll get him in eventually. Let's just not ping it. I'm just worried about that hook, hook pulling or something like that now. He's got to tire soon. I know I'm getting a little tired, so <laughs> surely he's feeling the same way. This guy's putting on a really good show. Like this is pretty good. Like I don't know how he's that big. How big was he? <laughs> I'm 
usually his tail wrapped or something. Lots of ground now. Oh, come on. <laughs> We're about to run out of battery. Yeah, I'm going to have to pause this. We've got him back up to where we can get him. It's been taking a while. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I just can't reach him on that angle. Come on, buddy. Don't go down again. Okay. 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 I think we might get a gas shot here. Come on. Okay. We got a gas shot anyway. We got him. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, we got him. <laughs> Far out. That was one hell of a fight. Very impressive, buddy. I think that's the best long tail fight I've ever had, to be honest. He definitely put up a good a good battle. And he's not a bad size. Look, he's taken up the whole width of the uh, the hatch there. Oh, far out. He definitely uh here, yeah, the old fish guns, <laughs> the old the old arms are feeling a little jelly-like. <laughs> been a long time since they've had a proper workout <laughs> but we might bleed him in the uh, hatch here and put him out of his misery but um thank you mate what a what an epic fight but all right we've taken care of him so wow what an epic catch and that was exactly what we were hoping for <laughs> and so in the end it's come through wow all right big fish but yeah no that's exactly what we were hoping for. We were hoping to get um, a tuna of some sort, just uh, some something a bit of a point of difference from what we've been using recently, and uh, hopefully we can get Taku onto one as well. But we'll go back over to that zone, and hopefully there's a couple big ones zipping around still. Well, maybe it was just crossed in half. Yeah, right. This one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This one, I think just got hit too. Yeah. Oh well, we'll stick around for a bit then. Yeah. yeah we'll take a look. I'll definitely. Uh, I don't think I'll put another livey out, but I'll, uh... <laughs> that was just on top, right? Yeah, just on top, just floating around. But we'll go back to that, that little zone, because it's a nice snapper ground, but obviously there's big bait and stuff zipping around as well. That's cool, the way it is. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh. Here they are. So, if a, if a wave comes at you from the side, yep. you just... Are you leaving that rod up? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's gonna just get tangled and everything. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just go up on this side of the break wall, on the southern side, yeah. and then we'll just sort of nip in quickly you know what I mean and and then if a wave does catch you you've got a bit of time before you get to the other side you know what I mean but they shouldn't they shouldn't really be a problem I think in this kind of in this kind of uh, swell
<laughs> you made it. Made it. Too easy. <laughs> I'm gonna wash down. Yeah, not a bad long tail. So they do get a bit bigger, but about a metre thirty is it, or a bit above is a big, you know what I mean? That's getting pretty big. So this guy would probably be bad. Oh, I don't know. Maybe 120, maybe. this tuna quickly but we might do a fast version and just get a, a section of it off because we're gonna get a lunch somewhere so we the idea is we just want to get this into the fridge kind of as quick as possible so the only real way to do that is going to be I might just cut it in half and then put half in the fridge and then just take a section out for lunch literally just gonna wrap Put a wrap over it just so it doesn't spill over in the fridge and then well we'll take that over here we go <laughs> mm. all right Fresh will it make it Perfect. As long as he gets into the fridge and we get him cool, we'll be happy. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, here we go. Oh, awesome. Yep. I'm not even really going to um, talk anyone through it. Everyone's seen me do this a million times. So. What are we making here, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, because uh, there's... Yeah, no, yeah. no worries. <laughs> it's my day off now. I didn't catch a fish. It's my day off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit... I am, yeah, like I said, I'm a bit bummed that we didn't get you on a fish. Thank you, not too bad. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I know. I didn't work in a sushi restaurant, but that's all right. It'll taste nice. We'll quickly eat, and then I don't know. Maybe the boys, maybe I can go down and have a quick look at the uh, the workshop and check it out because it's pretty cool. It's definitely worth checking it out. So we're gonna eat, and then uh, yeah, we'll go downstairs. <laughs> look at that one, just for size comparison. It's a pretty hefty lure. <laughs> It's a top water fisherman's dream in here. Look at all these rotisseries. <laughs> the rotisseries. <laughs> yeah, it's up there. No, the boys make a good lure, that's for sure. Are we allowed to film these ones? Is that alright? Yeah, yeah, not like you're not letting the cat out of the bag. Like you show me. Ooh, oh, look at that. Fancy. <laughs> Very cool. Look at that. It's nice. Oh. Well, that's the end of a, a long day's uh, work. Not have a few friends here. Yep. Hey, Rob. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. how's it going? <laughs> and all the way from the state. There's something about that slow rotisserie. <laughs> you can't actually see you anyway. It's just all glare. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> Well, off they go. That was pretty cool. So very nice here. I'll get in the shade. It's very, uh, very sunny here. So very, very fun to have uh, Taku here and Jocelyn. And if you haven't already, and I'm sure like there's probably been maybe, this, this will probably be the fourth video, but I think I might only be the one that get the fourth video out. Because unfortunately we couldn't get Taku onto that big fish on the kayak. 
But um, yeah, go and check out Outdoor, Li Outdoor Chef Life if you haven't already. Um, so much good content, amazing cooking, and just all around really nice people. And how good was it to see finally go and visit uh, the boys at uh, Melossi, uh, Melossi Lures? Because um, I've been talking to them. They literally live just around the corner from me. And I, we always talk here and there on Instagram. We haven't have had a lot of back and forwards, but we've never, ever managed to sort of commit to going and visiting. And then Taku actually said to me, he goes, oh, I want to visit some guys I know in your area. And it turns out it's them. So they were nice enough to invite us all over for lunch. Uh, I guess we be better get back to normal programming. Uh, I better get editing. I know I'm sort of uh, uh, lagging a bit behind, but stay tuned and uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll hit them in a big way. <laughs> See ya.